gone. He's gone from here. The evil is gone. You should have told somebody. I told everybody. Well, for God's sakes, he can't drive a car. He was doing very well last night. blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. What was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. Field was a peaceful town. And then one Halloween night many years ago, all of that was lost. Michael Myers was pure evil. He took our dreams and turned them into nightmares. As he was locked away in his prison, I disappeared into mine. And then as I predicted, 40 years later he escaped and Haddonfield was once again forced to confront this man in a mask. His senseless brutality ravaged my community and killed my daughter. And then he vanished. Impossible? Perhaps. Truth would evolve into legend as people searched for motive and meaning, looking in the shadows for their boogeyman. In the years that followed, the people of Haddonfield descended into a plague of grief, of blame, of paranoia. You think he's come back? Michael doesn't use guns. The suffering Michael caused became an infection, passing on to people who never even crossed his path. And as the town turned in on itself, I made a promise not to let fear rule my life anymore. I bought a home, a place to live with love and trust, not a trap, not a place to hide. It has been four years since I last saw my monster. So here I am, a survivor attempting to share my story and find healing. Michael Myers was the personification of evil. It's up to each of us whether or not we lock the door and find our resolve or let him inside. 
He came home. Excuse me, Laurie. Oh, Mr. Brackett, I'm sorry, Mr. Brackett. Oh, I didn't mean to startle you. That's all right. You know, it's Halloween. I guess everyone's entitled to one good scare, huh? A man wouldn't do that. This isn't a man. Hey, Lonnie, get your ass away from there. Death has come to your little town, Sheriff. You don't know what death is. I met him 15 years ago. I, I was told there was nothing left. No reason, no uh, conscience, no understanding, and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, and of good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him, and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil. So it's hard to put into words what your years of love and support has meant to me. I was 19 years old when John Carpenter and the late, great Deborah Hill cast me in Halloween in 1978. The film gave me an opening into a career that I never expected, and each movie and work experience led to another, and the beautiful flow and creativity and community that has now been my career. I've worked with so many talented directors and actors and fabulous crews of technicians, and artists, and creative people who love the daily grind of making movies. And with you, the audiences, I've had such a bond. We've cried together, we've laughed together, we've screamed together, and we've had experiences that only horror movies can give you. Horror films allow you to confront what you can't control, and they are cathartic and transformative. And so now I say goodbye and thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you who has carried Lori Strode as a sister, a daughter, and a friend. I just want to say again, thank you, and happy Halloween, everyone.
know it's totally insane. I'll be totally wiped out. I totally never show. Totally charted. <laughs> totally. Totally. <laughs> totally silly. Yeah, it's totally dark. She's totally not here. You don't know what death is.